Hey guys, on this episode of Unusual Foods, we'll be taking a look at this, the pomelo. Now the pomelo, this is a, um, a large citrus fruit that is native to Southeast Asia and has multiple different varieties of. Each country has kind of their own variety, like if you get them in Vietnam, they'll be like a dark green on the outside. And in China, they have um, like honey pomelo, and which will have like a golden colored flesh. And some of them have like a pink colored flesh and they all taste actually quite a bit different considering they're the same fruit or the same group, same family. So yeah, this is actually a very good fruit. Uh, most people don't know what to do with this so they don't eat it even though it is actually somewhat common in uh, North America at least. On this episode, not only am I going to be doing a taste test of the pomelo, and I'm showing you how to peel a pomelo. Uh, at the very end, I'm gonna be putting together a quick recipe that I just thought of that I think will taste very good. So stay tuned for that. So first off, um, the pomelo, when it's ripe, if you squeeze it, hopefully you can see this, the, the skin will, will kind of depress. If it's like really, 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 really firm, then you have to leave it. Usually if, if you're getting these in North America, they ship them in plastic, which is not cool, but that's how they, it kind of creates like a little greenhouse environment and it keeps it protected, I guess, from bugs and stuff. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, take that plastic off and just leave it on your counter and it'll ripen. And then once it's a little bit soft, like this one's perfect, then it's time to open it. Now, the best way to open this, um, there's a huge pith on this thing. It's super thick, white kind of peel on the inside. So you don't really have to worry about cutting into the flesh. Um, usually what I do is just kind of start at the, the, the top bit there and just cut around to the bottom and just make a nice deep cut and then go all the way around. Almost like you're cutting an avocado. And then um, you can kind of just get a sense for it if you pull at it. And then I usually just do a cross cut. <clears throat> just do a cross cut. So then what you're doing is sticking your thumb right in the middle of the cross cut and just peeling it off. And it, as you can see, this one isn't, isn't even that super thick, but it's still like the, the peel on this thing is super, super dense. Some of them, if it's a really huge pomelo, the peel will be like this thick. You'll, you'll feel a little bit gypped <laughs> by the amount of fruit you get after you pull the peel off. It's like so much of it is, is peel. But if you have a garden, then uh, you can put that in your compost and you get a ton of uh, material to compost. So all I'm doing now is just hooking in underneath and just, I mean, you can cut it with a knife if you want. I hear my cat, he's whining. Okay, so once we got the peel all off, then you're gonna have a little knob on the, the bottom, which I tend to cut off in a circle. This little guy. And when you do that, then you can stick your thumb in there and just flex and open it up. Now, the, the main problem people make when they eat this fruit is they try to eat this like an orange. They'll, they'll take a, a whole slice off which is actually pretty difficult to do. Let's see if I can get one here. So these are segmented just like an orange. And so there's a little bit on there, but so say you get it like this. So it looks like a just giant piece of orange and you'll bite into this and it'll taste terrible because this connective like tissue, this, uh, this pith or membrane or whatever this is called, tastes nasty. It's super bitter and gross. So you don't eat this stuff. It just, it's terrible. You'll never want to eat one again. But when you peel it, like I just showed you, you'll, it'll open up like this and you can actually just stick your thumb in here, like this, and just peel this away from that pith and then just grab the whole thing in one piece and pop it right off. And what you're left with is all of the, you're essentially removing all of the juicy stuff from the um, outer casing. You can do this with an orange as well. It's just a lot of work. But in this case, you, you definitely need to do this for this fruit and it's actually quite a bit of material and it's just, it's a really delicious fruit. We'll do a taste test on this one. Mm. Oh yeah. It's kind of like, this is a hard one to describe. It's kind of like a mixture of a grapefruit and an orange maybe. That's kind of the closest, it's got some sourness. It's really juicy and really unique flavor to it. This flesh is just like the inside of an orange if you pull all those little like orbs of goodness out of an orange. They pop in your mouth just the same way. 
but um, obviously it tastes different. It's got a bit of an orange taste to it. It's a citrus taste. It's kind of like a grapefruit and maybe a lemon with an orange. Really good. If you get a honey, uh, honey pomelo, it'll taste um, a lot more like kind of light and fresh. Still like really strong flavor to it though. Typically when I eat this, I just uh, have the wedges out like this and I just kind of graze at it. I've never made a recipe with this before. So this is gonna be a first today, but I have an idea. Let's try this out. I'm gonna take off some of this stuff. I just stained my um, Vitamix, this bright yellow color. I don't know if you've ever seen one like this. This is from Fresh uh, Turmeric. Anyways, okay, so we're gonna put in, um, I don't know, just a few of these pods. We need some more. If you're having trouble getting the, uh, the, the skin layer off to get in the inside, you can bite it on the end and just get like a crack in there and then all you have to do is just crack that open. Okay, for this recipe, I'm making a smoothie here. Uh, I've got, I don't know how many, like two and a half, maybe three of these um, pods of the pomelo. I'm gonna stick one banana in there and we're gonna stick some vanilla. I don't know what that is, about a teaspoon. And a little bit of water. Okay, I blended that into oblivion. I don't want any of that pith in there to have any sort of stringy bits. It smells delicious, but how can you go wrong? <laughs> Mmm, that's good. It's just creamy. You got the sourness from the pomelo, creaminess, and then the vanilla. It's just, mmm. Yeah, the banana really brings a stability to the, the smoothie. So yeah, try it out if you wanna have something a little bit more um, unusual than the typical banana mango smoothie. And until the next one, guys, have a great day.